I would like to, although as, as previously mentioned that although the achievements and the background of the organization might be so lengthy, but I would like to introduce to you that how ICT has uh, transformed or influenced the methodology in uh, the achievements of organization. So, ORCD Afghanistan is a national NGO, Afghan national NGO working at the grassroots levels and with the, backed by an international network. And if you would see ICT, we consider ICT as an effective and a very efficient tool for, for the development and the expansion since the inception of this project, of the organization and all its projects. Coming to how ICT has transformed ORCD, so ORCD Organization for Research and Community Development has been one of the unique NGOs in Afghanistan that has effectively utilized ICT for its development. Almost many, more than 90 or 80 percent of its project it has implemented <coughs> has been competitively awarded after submitting the proposals through online. Using the online uh, channel, we have submitted our proposals and they have been evaluated and we have been informed. And with the support of ICT, we have been able to we have been able to establish similar sister networks all over the uh, it means at international level in Pakistan, Zimbabwe, the United Kingdom, and the United States of America. And we are seeking potential partners <laughs> to establish similar networks in India, Nepal, and other South Asian South Asian countries. We have a Facebook page which has been liked by more than 1,000 fans. Similarly, we have Twitter, LinkedIn, and non-profit non NGO uh, where, from where you can drop a review about your ORCD uh, activities. We have also been uh, um, in, uh, I mean invited by, for an um, award in Milan, Italy. And we uh, have uh, um, uh, linkages with other, with other organizations and also with not only with other organizations at international level, but also with the board members which are, who are located in different parts of the, of the world through Skype. Looking into the working principles of ORCD, there are a couple of principles, and use of ICT is a mean for development. This is considered as an important working principle for ORCD. The, the reason why ORCD has, been, uh, has grown for the last, since its, its inception in 2011 is the use of ICT as an effective mean for development. These are the ORCD partners and donors, ranging from GIZ, JICA, international uh, uh, NGOs, health and TPO, and many ministries uh, of Afghanistan. This is the network, so far the network of ORCD International. ORCD Afghanistan is a national independent organization, and all these organizations you see only with the change of the maps and the background these are independent organization, but sister, but they are uh, interconnected uh, as part of a multinational network. And this has been made possible through the effective use of ICT in our operations and our development strategy. These are the projects that we have implemented. In most of its projects, we have, I mentioned earlier, ICT has been used, has been mainstreamed, and uh, as earlier mentioned by our colleagues, since the targets have been rural community, youth uh, in the urban areas, so the social media, the radio and television has been uh, very useful in, 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 in the success of our projects that we have implemented. We have a dynamic website. I mean, the, the instances, instances where we, a city has been used. We have submitted applications and e-filling and uh, Facebook page, Twitter account, LinkedIn, and we have been SEO checklist enrolled so that we, we are browsed on the top of the search results on Google. These are two photos that uh, we have 
published, uh, we have arranged local, uh, I mean, roundtable sessions on local TV, and some of the experts in the international level has been connected through Skype. So the problems, yeah, this probably yeah, this is the last slide. Internet, you know that the speed of, uh, in Afghanistan is a little bit slow, and this has been one of the problems. It's costly, and uh, the ex that there is no extended access to Internet, uh, particularly in the rural areas, and uh, there is lack of familiarity with the ICT uh, in many rural uh, villages of Afghanistan. These are the first number of plans that we would like to conduct a feasibility study. One of the important plans that we would like to have which is related to ICT. So the the feasible, we would like to conduct a feasibility study, how we introduce ICT and health. And also we would like to integrate more, in, uh, adopt a more integrated approach for the development through ICT. It means we would like to explore some other options so that we can further develop using, the, uh, using ICT. <coughs> Yeah. Uh, questions from the children? Brent? Thank you. you. You mentioned that you use ICTs to create the sister network of organizations. Yes. yes. And in looking at the list of projects, there's a good diversity in terms of the nature of the projects and what their objective is. How are you, how does this network um, promote sustainability across this diverse menu of projects? How is it sustainable? Actually, uh, the network that we have established at international level, it has, uh, I mean, the projects that we, that we started uh, are from Afghanistan. And uh, using the uh, effective use of ICT, we have been able, we have been able to to garner or, or uh, attract the support of many experts around the world in different countries. And this has been very successful uh, in uh, moving our efforts toward sustainability because with the help of the um, advice, uh, advices of the experts around the world, we have we have learned a lot. This has been, this has, I mean, at Afghanistan level, the the opinions and the, the expert opinions of experts around the world have been very much ex effective in making a very competitive uh, designs and, uh, and projects at, at, uh, at Afghanistan level. And with this, we have learned. So now in the next uh, time or in future, if there is an opportunity like this, so it will be easily handled at local level, at national level, without the support of the exper experts' uh, opinion from Afghanistan. So one of the, uh, one of, I mean, from around the world, uh, I mean, the, 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 the expertise of the university, the international in the other countries have been very successful in enriching the, uh, enriching the knowledge and skills of Afghan national. Uh, just a follow through question from what Brian asked. Uh, you said that um, <clears throat> ICT and sister organizations that you have established worldwide, they've helped you to garner expertise Yes. Which has probably helped you in designing and implementing the projects yes. uh, domestically, right? Yes. Within Afghanistan, which is great. Yes. Uh, but has it also been explored uh, that you could use your uh, ICT to garner uh, funding? Uh, has it been done online or is it still a different process altogether? Because one of the sustainable measures is also how much funding is there uh, that you can organize. Yes. Especially when you are present globally, I think one of the key outcomes that you would be looking at Yes. is to not only just get expertise yeah. in terms of advice, but also funding. Yes, yeah. Uh, one of the reasons, uh, one of the reasons that uh, ORCD was able to get funding um, since its inception for uh, in a short time over the last two, three years is because in Afghanistan, when there is uh, an opening or funding opportunity, so the NGOs, the a classic uh, notion is that uh, NGOs should prepare proposals and print them and submit them in hard copies. But that hasn't been, that has been very rare case with regards to OVRCD Afghanistan. The projects that we have competitively received, all proposals have not only designed by using ICT, I mean, gardening the support and expertise around the world, but also they have been submitted online. And this is something that other NGOs have not been uh, either well familiar or they are not practicing. 
So, so if you you if you would see the list of our projects, so around from 10 to 12 projects, eight of them have been online submitted and online uh, evaluated, and we have got the result of that. <coughs> if you see this website of this ORCD Afghanistan, but if you change the dome, the, I mean the last, uh, it's dot .af. If you change it to PK, so it will become the same page with some adoptions of pa for Pakistan. If you change it for Z ZW, so that will become Zimbabwe. And we'll we come back to the websites later because yeah. the other presenters yeah. are there. So I will be giving time for you all to do okay. a presentation so of your websites okay. later. So, so okay. at the end of the session, okay. separate. Okay. Okay. But the question answer in, in pertaining to the, the work is what we would really look at. And I'm going to give them time to come and actually show us websites one after the other at the end of the sessions. Okay. Any other questions asked pertaining to the presentation? Yeah? Shall we move on to the next one? So thank you very much. It's yeah, a good presentation. So although some of the some of the tabs have not been fully functional, but most of them are okay. We also have a, a link to our Facebook. So that will take you. And um, we have s horizontal tabs and vertical in their strategic dimensions. So we also planned just a few minutes, a few days ago, that we would like to, since the strategic goals are repetitive here, so we would like to uh, replace the strategic goals one on the top on the horizontal with the RCD International, so that you can uh, uh, visitor can find a link to uh, ORCD in other countries. And this is the. Yeah, volunteers. We received a lot of contact CVs for volunteers, so we have given, we have created a special account on our website. And we received a lot of offers from Afghanistan, Pakistan, and other countries if the CVs could be considered for, for a new voluntary job. Uh, the donation, uh, the tab has not been fully functional because of the Banking <coughs> issues, so so, but but this we will be able to upload. Yes, yeah. And this is I'm not sure that how Facebook page could not be. And we also have we also plan to now the Facebook plugin is there, but we, we would like to link our Twitter account as well. So we have put the banner of this. Yeah. And we also have a Twitter account and also an NGO for profit. If you would see the um, uh, Facebook uh, page, so you could also leave a review. Recently, this tab has been added to the, to the Facebook. And if you would uh, if you would change the the dot af one to pk, so this would change it to to uh, although actually there has been a fight between Afghan hackers and Pak hackers, so this uh, this page has recently been hacked. So if you would see, but fortunately the the others the the, the tabs are intact. And we will check with this, but but that is controlled totally by a different team. And uh, we are, uh, we are not. Uh, I mean, all ORCDs are are uh, managed in a decentralized manner. Our, so here you see that map here Afghanistan, and if you see the Zimbabwe one, ORCD Zimbabwe dot org. <coughs> so this is also the the contents are the same only. The methodology might be might be different. The mission and vision and these things are. <coughs> so this is our page now, and we are representing this. 